Hi everybody. Looks like we're back for set episode three of Let's Elden Ring with Biting Cat. And today we're gonna kinda just keep doing what we've been doing. Uh we've uh you know gotten some upgrades for the weapon and we upgraded our uh, wolves spirit summon once and when you take a look at our inventory um, it looks like we need um, 10 uh, smithing stones to uh, to get our um, weapon up to uh, plus 6 and I think we want to do that I think that's the first thing we want to do so um, to do that we're gonna have to go back to the lake so I'm gonna turn my headset up just a little bit all right that's better let's take a look and we're gonna go right here and uh, we're gonna start by filling in the map of this area we'll be glad we did that all at once so let's just um, it's late night you know the drill we're gonna wait till morning uh, so we don't get uh, surprise bosses because um, they're all over the place <laughs> you know I think a lot of people kind of enjoy that sort of thing but um, you know it's emergent and surprising but um, that's not really the kind of playthrough this is. Um, we're not looking for, um, you know, <laughs> uh, life or death stuff when we're just on our way to filling in a map. Looks like I passed the thing. Um, now this place has all these kind of creepy, crawly things. I can't. I don't recall what they're. Uh, called there it is um, but they're surprisingly fast they crawl around some of them will, like ring a little bell they jump though see that so we're gonna lure these guys away from our map and then we're gonna go get it good so that's map number one There's another map. There's a safe point around here somewhere. Um, but I usually don't feel it's worthwhile. You see those crawfish? Those are like some of the most deadly enemies in the game. I'm not joking. Um, <laughs> they can shoot this like water jet uh, that'll. Uh, the enemy's almost out of sight and it'll still hit you. It's uh, pretty outrageous. So, um, if you get one on your trail, it's almost like a dragon's chasing you. You want to do this zigzag. But we're still on the map thing right now. I'm not really interested in doing anything else. See, is that water jet, right? This keeps zigzagging. Um, ultimately, we're going to visit all of these gazebos. But not yet. There's our second little map. And there's a lot to do around here, you know, and we'll do it eventually. But right now we just we just want to clear the map. Activate this. Turn off that checkpoint. Um, and then I think the next we actually do want to go to this gazebo. Um, there's one with a teleporter if 
Those guys are probably a little resilient for us right now. They like to shoot water too, as you can see. Alright. Wonder if I have the right one or not. Let's we'll see. Yeah, great. Once again, let's get the thing off. And let's step in. And there's our last map. There should also be... Yes, yeah, the side of grace right here. Um, this area is a little intense for us right now. We just... We're just filling in the map, okay? There we go. So... One thing I like to do with all of these gazebos is mark that I've visited them because it can be hard to keep track of them. So I'm just going to put a little marker on it. And now we can start um, thinking about where we want to go. There's actually one right here. It's not on the map, which is convenient. So let's just uh, let's run down the hill and look for it. Stay away. Those blobby things are called land octop octopodes, I guess. Uh, and they're they're pretty bad news. Um, at least they can be. Um, they're only really weak. Their their mouth, you know, their little beak. Uh, their the rest of their exterior is pretty damage resistant. So you kind of have to get like right in front of them and and stab them, stab them in the mouth, and then you do that well enough you can get a critical hit but of course that's a pretty risky thing to do right. there's one of the gazebos we we're talking about as you can see there's a some crawfish walking around it you know this could be bad but you just kinda gotta you gotta live your life right um, the good news is that they actually can't really uh, get you here if you stay behind stuff. Um, so that's good. We got three smithing stones. We need seven more. Um, so let's make our way here next. Okay. And I'm going to put another marker down. guy looks pretty active. We may end up getting a fight. It seems a very case by case. Some of those crawfish are really aggressive and some of them you can actually basically walk on them and they don't care. Um, I've never really Oh, that's not on our map either. Now these will probably get aggro on us. And I still don't really want to fight them. So, let's just go in here. We can't make our map, unfortunately. We're just going to run for it. I mean, the thing is, we could take that guy. Um, like, it wouldn't be impossible. Oh, is that a... it is. Let's try to activate that. If I can rest, they'll go away. Yeah, look at that. Good. Um, so now we can just kind of keep going where we were going, right? There's a cave over there. This lake area is just huge. Um, this is like the first area. There's, um, there's just a ton of stuff to get into. A lot of dungeons. 
Um, this has two legacy dungeons in it. Try to stay clear of those uh, those critters, man. There's a bunch of them. They can jump too. Um, they're they're just uh, they're out of our league right now. We we just want to pass through here. just good to be methodical in a space this big with that where everything looks so similar keep going Crabs are a lot easier to deal with than the uh, crawfish. I mean, don't get me wrong. Um, a lot of them aren't pushovers, but crawfish are just in a whole different league. That's just a completely different scenario. Another thing of grace. So we don't need to mark this one because we'll know what it is. Um, we'll get rid of the thing. Um, However, under this tree, so how are we doing now? We've got eight, so we need two more, and then we can uh, finish with our weapon. So let's keep trucking. We're just going to look at all these, okay? There, there aren't many left. Here we go. Look at all these crawfish. Now one side doesn't have any. So we're going to try to just... Oh, but that guy's active. It's just a bad place. But it's okay. No. Being on the horse is a good place to be. Alright, well we've got ten now. So the question is... Um, should we keep going? And I think the answer is yes. Um, you seem pretty laid back. That's great. Um, I hope we have enough runes to upgrade our sword twice. I think we will. We're not going to mess with this guy now. The prawn isn't a bad uh, buff, really. But, uh, he just... He really has to do with the subquest that's over here. Let's go over here first. Thanks for being patient. Yeah, we're almost done. Um, Three. Oh, look at that. That's a little spooky, isn't it? 
Don't worry about it. He's not aggroed yet. Um, there are a bunch of islands here that are worth looking at as well, but we're not we're not going to do that right now. I mean, eventually our goal is to go to the castle. Um, we're kind of, you know, we're 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 getting closer to that. This is a. Uh, this is one check in the box. A uh, closer. It's actually the prawn salesperson. Uh, we're not going to do that right now because we need um, we need the runes for our sword upgrade. That's uh, that's what we want to do right now. Did we talk to this guy? Oh, this is a rare occasion. No. I can't remember the last time a new tarnished made their way to the round table. Very well. As your senior, I bid you welcome. It is safe here. You may let down your guard. He's one of the tarnish that's mentioned in the opening I'll cinematic. Your advice. As your senior, you are a mere visitor to the round table. Nothing more. A house guest. Yet to earn their keep. Remember your place, newcomer. Remember your place? Who, who the hell is this guy? You know, he's a jerk. Um, he's start to finish. He's just kind of a <laughs> well, blowhard. Where have you been hiding? I took you for dead. No matter, it's all the same. Lay out your arms then. All right, let's do it. I like to keep track of how much it goes up. Let's look. 199. Back already. No matter. Oh man, we need more money. A thousand more. Okay. Well, we're gonna do it. We're here. That'll give us 600. That'll give us 400. How much was it? Already, no matter. Oh. Need one more. That's fine. Whatever. Back already, no matter. Okay. Let's see what difference that made. 239 so we had 40 points to it um, which is pretty good you know 40 on top of 200 and so um, that's quite a jump so cool we're done with that we're done with spirit tuning for the time being now that we're low on um, runes and we're not really risking anything that's like the perfect time to uh, you know, go somewhere dangerous. So let's um let's do that. Uh I've got just the place. Uh 
Now this may or may not work out. Um, we've cleaned this out, but we haven't come up here yet. So let's go up there. And again, uh, we're going to get invaded by somebody uh, that is very fast, so they dodge a lot of attacks. Um, and they do uh, bleed damage, so you know, kind of they get you in hemorrhage, and then you're basically uh, already dead, is what happens here. Um, so we're going to do something a little unorthodox and annoying, which is uh, we're going to kill these uh, danglers here because they are going to come down. problem with these skeletons is you had to hit them once and quote unquote kill them but then you have to hit them while they're on the ground um, it's a very annoying enemy um, they're not worth a lot of experience either so you're just kind of not spinning your wheels really We actually need to kill a bunch of these annoying things because um, we use their heads to make cures for poison. So um, you might as well kill any uh, dragonflies that turn out. Try to kill both of these at once. There we go. You know, the main thing with this stuff is don't panic, you know. Um, they might hit you, they might not. Yeah, it's alright. Now, the reason we're doing this is because this guy's going to invade and he's going to run a ridiculous distance towards us. And this other guy's going to try to help us. And he's going to appear like among those skeletons and end up fighting them instead of not helping us um, that's that's actually what happened so we really just have to stay alive long enough um, for him to come to our assistance He hasn't done it yet, but he'll sometimes throw. Oh, there's our buddy. We got him now. Just have to stay alive long enough. There he goes. So, you know, don't freak out. Uh, there's like an ideal distance. Like, if you don't get uh, too close. Um, but don't get too far, he won't start throwing this blood attack that um, does a lot of damage and does a huge amount of blood build up. This is a very short thing, actually. We won't be here long. I'm 
can get a rest and get our flask back. As always, it's just habit. I would like to wait till morning, uh, even if we're in a cave. <laughs> All right. So this is going to be an arc kind of situation. And you'll see why in a minute. So if you look here, you see that chain? That's an alarm. If we run over that, it's going to get all these bad guys running to us. And they're still going to run, So, but we're ready for them. Now, did we need to do that? Not actually. Um, because, well, I'll just show you. This place is uh, really stupid. Uh, we're going to go down here. And there's a chest, right? So, oh boy, let's open our chest. It's a mushroom. So, <laughs> yeah. This is, place is one big troll. And... It'll make sense in a second. Here's this boss. Boss room, right? Ooh, scary. I'm gonna top off our uh, magic. And how curious. It's just an empty room, yeah? There's a lot of blood here. So, when you touch the blood, what happens? Some of these are quite comical. Oh, he got his, uh, yeah. I guess it's these people who are just overconfident. It looks like they're all getting, like, uh, staggered with blocking. Well, whatever. So you open the chest and somebody gets upset. It's Patches. He blows his poison, but, you know, who cares? I guess it would be bad if he, uh... Got you with the, the spear. Wait, wait, Once you get him halfway, he begs. And you can kill him. Um, but, I mean, there's really. It's better if you don't. You get one gold rune. Thanks, buddy. You get the grovel emote. Patches is a guy who turns up in every game, and he always, it's like he just can't help himself. He, um, he wants to trick you based on your greed, and then, you know, put you in a deadly situation to take your stuff. Um, what do you know? You're tarnished like me. Now, now, how did I get that wrong? I took you for a demi-human or some such. <laughs> but an innocent estate, I assure you. Well, water under the bridge. Now we're squared up. How about we play nice from now on? Sure, we'll forgive him for you. Reason. Just what I like about you. I'm Patches. Patches the untethered. Tarnished like you, only free-spirited. Nomadic, you might say. Only for now, those retired soldiers turned bandits. And they're paying for my gruel. In exchange for my, well, Showing them the ropes. But honestly, this looting racket is bloody terrifying. Frankly, I'm ready to wash my hands clean. Maybe set up a legitimate shop. So don't be a stranger. I'll be ready to wheel and deal come next time. <laughs> so he says he'll be ready next time, but if we want... We can just leave the game and 
come back in and uh, they'll be ready to sell us some stuff. We're not actually going to buy anything from them, but, you know, we're here. Might as well show you what it's about. Load times are fairly fast, after all. Well, nice of you to drop in, finally. It's all a bit ad hoc, but I'm sure you'll find something. And welcome to Patches Emporium. Well, you won't need a refund, because everything's top-notch. So, um, we can buy some of these uh, gold feet uh, that make you get more uh, runes. We can buy a stone sword key. Um, he has a book that'll let you make more gold feet. Um, the parrying dagger, we haven't really talked about parrying, but it's a kind of an advanced tactic where you, if you time it right you can uh, basically stagger an enemy you know by blocking their attack um, the shackle helps you beat Margit um, but I don't know if we really care about that uh, probably not um, we'll see him again That's just his first appearance. And again, he's in, he's in I think every like Souls type game. I is he in Bloodborne? I'm sure he is. I can't remember though. That'll be something to Google later. Um, let's rest. Just get our stuff back. Still morning. That's great. Um, we're going to keep going up the river now. Um, we don't have a whole lot of show for that trip other than unlocking patches so we can uh, keep running into them. Um, but now we'll go to an honest to goodness catacombs. And hopefully we can beat the boss. I, you know, I don't really remember what a lot of these things have. This is the guy who helped us. We talked to him. Just joining the fray. Tarnished. Well, you fought Narius and survived. That alone deserves commendation. I'm Yura. Hunter of bloody fingers. Tarnished. Held in thrall by cessblood. Zealots. Who stalk their own. Who stay the path. You are certain to face more of them. Just remember, no kinship with their elk remains. Their madness precludes it. Don't let your emotions stay your blade. One last word of warning. Stay clear of Agil Lake. A great dragon roosts there, and it's as fearsome as it is majestic. So, you're mad. I wish to be burned alive. Stay clear of the lake. I think if you try to fight that dragon, he'll actually show up. Um, it's been so long since I've I've done that. I don't really remember. We could jump up there, um, but I don't feel very motivated to do so. Um, these little blobs on the ground are pretty annoying. They're very uh, resilient. They don't really damage easily. Um, they're more like environmental hazards, honestly. So we ignore them. Okay, let's see what's here. So we can see a couple here. Be wary of left. Is there one there too? Holy shit. That's a rough room. This guy dropped down. Yeah, 
you know, like we've talked about before, there's really there's no benefit to being in a hurry with these guys. Um, you know, give them a good uh, poke and then a short attack. That ought to that ought to do it. Be wary of trap. Okay, you see that square on the ground, like in the hallway up there? It's raised. Yeah, that's a trap. I'm gonna like this thing. Um, if we step on it, these arrows are gonna shoot out. We can kind of use that to our advantage if we quickly cross. Let's back up. We'll do it again. So that wasn't very smart, but it turned out. This is a curious one. Um, we didn't have to walk very far to get to the lever. I don't. We, did we even use any magic? Um, I guess we did. But I, I think we're probably okay. Well, maybe. Another trap. Up. So to me, that means there's one that's going to drop. That's how I, that's how I read that. So we're going to kind of scoot through here. And we're going to turn around. Yeah, look at that. I almost stood on that trap. That would have been bad. Okay. I don't know what, let's see what's here. Seek summoning, weak foe ahead, bold strong foe, these clouds. All right, well, we're gonna drink our little flask. And we're gonna call our dogs. Oh, this guy. Um, just have to keep backing away from him. That thing has a lot more reach than you would guess. As you can see, it's very vulnerable to magic. We're just waiting for the dogs to make them mad again. There we go. We're just gonna do the same thing. We're gonna drink while he's angry. mattered so see there we go banished knight evil now that's one of the more legendary ones that uses a uh, ghost a uh, glove wart um, he's pretty good I usually there's another one I usually use and um, unfortunately these upgrades are kind of hard to come by so um, Experimentation is not as, uh, to me, it's not as encouraged as maybe you would think by finding all this stuff. So, kind of, you know, gotta gotta pick something and commit to it, like it or not. Um, let's see here. You know, we've got six of these and two ghosts, so, I, you know, I guess I could try him out. So I've done this whole thing. The question is, where now? 
I think my answer to that is here. See, see that dark place? Well, maybe. Looks like our little blob friend caught up to us. Let's just jump out of here. We're not really... These uh, paintings show you things that you can interact with in the world and find secrets. Um, Though they're not, they're not really a big focus for me in my playthrough. Alright, so next thing we'll do, we're just kind of going around doing some basic cleanup stuff. Next up we're going to go, as you see, just we're back at uh, the church. And we're going to come here and go down to the beach. So we're just heading west from the church. I'm kind of curious as to whether I can kill this troll or not. Um, and we're so close to um, save point that I don't really feel like we're risking a lot. So we're going to run in. We're going to give it a nice heart attack. It's not really I was really hoping to uh, stagger him that doesn't look like it's gonna happen So we're just going to shut them down. It was very unusual. Usually they stagger a couple of strong attacks like that. Um, but uh, <laughs> he proved a little, a little tough for that. That's cool. Here's a bunch of these uh, land octopus stuff. Just gonna magic our way through these. There's no reason to save it. Um, the cave we're going in is right here. See, there it is. And there we go. And just this memory jogger down here. This is another pretty easy one. him, our friend. He came down here to get us something nice, since all he had was a mushroom. Okay, buddy. We're just gonna keep on trucking. We're gonna sneak. See that enemy there? We're just gonna backstab him. Piece of cake. There's a few down here that we can kind of preemptively attack, and I'm going to. 
that's one. That's another. There's one right under this overhang that we can't uh, get to, which is fine. See a lot of people had uh, had a lot of confidence. I guess they just jumped right down here. Um, that that one probably hits pretty hard if you let it. And this is it. We're already here. Now, unfortunately, we've. Um, just for laughs, let's summon this guy. It may not work out. Sometimes you're going to see these summoning signs, and you can just, uh, you know, they're non player characters. If he dies, we can still summon our friend, I think, or uh, wolves. So, you know, we're not really risking anything. Knight's uh, handling himself pretty well, isn't he? He's got some kind of gravity magic going. Oh. Now we just have the rest of these to clean up. Yeah, I guess the old knight's pretty, uh, pretty badass. My goodness. So we got these tailoring tools. We can use oh that poor guy, he's just coward. Should have left him alone. Feels sort of guilty. Oh well, whatever. <laughs> I don't feel that guilty. We can teleport back, but we're actually not going to. Um this is one of the rare caves where there's actually more if you keep going. We're not going to sprint, we're just going to kind of jog, there's some friends up here. There should be two more up here, yep. And that should be everything. So now we can run. As you can see, this is a great view. That's where we started, right? We actually went under the water. Now you got this pretty amazing view. There's that castle everybody wants us to go to, which yes, we will be going to soon. Uh, we're just about ready to go. It's just a few more things I'm interested in. We'll activate this. This is the Church of Dragon Communion. Um, if we were doing kind of a Faith Arcane character that um, did incantations, we could get uh, dragon incantations here. And the ones that are available change as you uh, uh, kill more dragons. And you actually consume their hearts in like a ritual. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty metal, really. Um, but that's it. So uh, let's go back and talk to our friend now that we've um, now that we've uh, got rid of his bullies.
and we can give him the sewing stuff. Is that what I think it is? You got it back for me. My sewing needle. He's kind of a mess, isn't he? And that's it for now. Uh, we are going to see him again. Um, interestingly, almost every side quest in this game ends badly. Um, he's one of the very few characters where you can uh, get an ending that's uh, not just completely miserable. Um, and that is unusual in this game. Uh, now that's uh, the default ending, actually. The most likely ending is bad, <laughs> but you can get a good ending. Let's get this uh, guy on the map. We're actually gonna buy his book. What do you need? I don't want any trouble. This book will uh, let us make uh, poison cures, which I mentioned before. Uh, we don't really, um, we don't need them now, but we will. So we're here. No need to walk down here again just for that. So we're gonna move on. So, plug and lie right along. We're not, um, we're not far along enough yet to level up, unfortunately. Um, so we're going to do some more stuff. Now let's talk about my goals. Um, uh, mind really needs to be around uh, 16 or 17 uh, you see this FP here we ultimately want to get to like 105 that's a good intermediate uh, point um, endurance 15 would be good um, intelligence uh, 20 and vigor you know we're always going to be leveling up vigor until we hit 40 like vigor is always uh, vigor is never not a priority uh, that is like that's what keeps you alive more than anything else, uh, which is surprising. Um, glass cannon builds just don't work for most people in these games. Um, it's they're too dangerous. These you know the world of these games is just too many hazards. could fight these dogs here um, but I don't really think it's worth it instead let's just keep moving There's a lot of demi humans around here. We're gonna go past all this stuff. And we're going to the cave. I was trying to show you when the blob attacked me. Don't hang out too long. There's uh <laughs> there's a lot of uh bats. Seriously. Alright. Now these are smithing stones one, which yes is old hat by now. Um, but we're not just doing this stuff um, for the loot. We're also doing it for the experience. You know, I mean if you're new you need experience just uh, doing basic stuff, you know, dodging, backstabbing, um, navigating dungeons, you know, it's all 
it's part of it's all just part of uh, becoming good at this game right all right so look at this turkey um, we're just gonna give his attention and give him to come back um, we want to generally conserve magic so if we're not if we're not gonna get a big benefit um, from using it we wouldn't but this guy I knew he was coming right so that's a benefit is not getting stuck over there with him right. and that's it for him so you see there are a bunch of these guys on the floor um, you know it takes two so just throw two you know don't wait for them to start running around. Just shut them down. If you don't kill these now, you're just gonna have a whole crowd um, when you get down there. And that's uh, 